during Shaban. No, actually, this is actually the hadith. There is a hadith which is narrated by Tabarani, but it's da'if uh, actually. This is hadith da'if. Inna li rabbikum. Allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa sha'ban wa balighna ramadan. This is a kind of dhikr, but actually when I looked at this, I found that this hadith is da'if. So it's weak, so we should not uh, use it. There was not dhikr you mentioned for a tremendous reward? No, it's for the market. Oh. The market? Ah, yeah, the marketplace. La ilaha illallah. وحده لا شريك له له الملك له لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يحي ويميت وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير. سو كان لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت يحيي ويميت يحيي means that to يحيي يحيي means that to give the life to the people ويميت that he uh, let them yes die وهو حي لا يموت and he is alive he doesn't die وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير بيده الخير in his hand is the good all good وهو على كل شيء قدير and he is capable for anything وهو حي لا يموت وهو حي لا يموت okay بيده الخير okay can it's uh, no problem this is dhikr and we are going to reward it for this بيده الخير بيده الخير in his hand the good وهو and he وهو على كل شيء قدير and he is capable of doing anything everything any questions any yes brother sir I read one hadith about fasting mm -hmm. that Prophet Muhammad said that if you are going to fast uh, all the fasting in Ramadan and every 13, 14, 15 days of every month the rest of the month. So you will be rewarded for fasting of the whole year. Yeah. Is that uh, these uh, strong or authentic? Yes, I think this is authentic hadith. Yes, it is authentic hadith. I can give you, inshallah, the classification, but it's authentic hadith. So it is, yes, if you man sama Ramadan wa atba'u sittim min shawwal, faka nama sama sama dhaq. means that who fast in Ramadan and follow it by the six days of Shawwal, it is as if that he has fasted the entire year. Yes, that's... Uh, no, but I asked uh, about 13th, 14th, and 15th day of every month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other mm -hmm. than in addition to Ramadan, fasting of Ramadan, 13th, 14th, and 15th day of every month. And during the full moon? Yes, yeah. this is the, the full moon. Three, 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 yes. In every month. Yeah. yeah. Actually, this is Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the point is, it is preferred to be in 13, 14, and 15 days of the month. But, but Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, also, he did it like they are dispersed. I mean that not necessarily be 13, 14, and 15. It can be in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the month. Only we have to fast three, not have to, it is preferred, it is a Sunnah to fast three days. But the reward... Regarding this 13, 14, and 15, I didn't hear about this, that is, it is uh, uh, equal to the fasting the entire year. What I know is fasting in Ramadan and followed by six of Shawwal. This is considered to be the full uh, year fasting. I have another question. Yes? The, the, thing, the hadith about one third of the night, like yeah. we should pray, uh, it starts from after Maghrib till Fajr, right? Yes. yes. So it's... Till midnight, it's almost two third of the night already, right? No, and midnight means midnight. I mean midnight. If we say twelve, for example, midnight means that it will be it will be uh, dividing the entire night into two halves. Mm -hmm. So until twelve, it is half the night here. Okay. And when, if you want to look from Maghrib, some people they say starting from Isha to Al Fajr, this is the night, or starting from Maghrib 
to Al Fajr. So uh, you can look to this, what is the span, and divide it into three. The last third, this is considered to be the best one for prayer and dua and so on. Yes. Tahajjud, okay, Qiyam and Tahajjud, there are difference between the two. Qiyam, Qiyam in any time. After Isha, we can make Qiyam. This is Salat al-Talawih, we call it Qiyam. But we cannot call it Tahajjud. Tahajjud in Arabic means that you need to sleep, and then when you woke up, this is Tahajjud now. And it's considered to be part of a Qiyam. I mean that because Qiyam is a general, general word, any time. Okay? But Tahajjud means that after sleeping and waking up, getting up, then this is considered to be Tahajjud. Best time of the third part, yeah, the third part, yes. This is the best time of the Hajjud or Qiyam, and the best time is for Istighfar. Many people, they fall into this. Istighfar. Asking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the best time waqt sahar which is this time. That is asking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for anyone who is making the night prayer, he should divide it actually. Like three things. Qiyam, which is Salah, and recitation of the Qur'an, and dua. These are the three things that is most preferably preferred by the ulama to do these kind of stuff in the third uh, uh, in the third part of the life or the night. In that part, the should be in odd numbers, or it can be even numbers. Okay, uh, if you are going to start, because the ulama they have to opinions regarding this. First of all, if you are if you are having a commitment that you are going to make Qiyam before the Fajr, for example, then you can make even Raka'at after Isha, and then you should end with a odd Raka'at, we call it Watr. Okay? So always the last the last kind of Raka'at should be odd. So the, if you count, if they are, for example, if you only uh, made it like uh, two after Isha, for example, then you said that I'm not going to pray the last one, I'm going to pray it before Fajr, for example. So it, it should be one in this case. Or it should be, it can be three, or five, or seven. Okay? That those will be continuous? Or yes. Be yes, we're seven. going. Yes, it seven will be. Continuous. And not like two, then two. Then ah, three. yes, yes. We have until, until seven. Three can be continuous, five can be continuous, seven can be continuous. Okay? That's it, continuously, without making tashahud, the little tashahud in between, no, yeah. continuously. This is okay for a qiyam. No little tashahud. No, no little tashahud. So if I said, for example, three rak'at for qiyam, I will not make it like maghrib. Maghrib, we are making two tashahud in the middle. After the two rak'at, we make tashahud, right? Yeah. So here, no, we, we can make it continuous, without tashahud. So we usually pray a little like that. Uh, yes, some people they are doing, yes, yes, some people they are doing like this. And this is actually, I cannot say it's wrong, because maybe Madhab Abu Hanifa or something, he is, he is validating this. So no problem. I mean that if you are doing like this, no problem. But if the other person is doing continuously without the shahud, it's also no problem. Okay. That's it. Uh, to know. Any other questions regarding this? Jazakumullah khairan for this. And I, I wish that it... It could be online so that we can, uh, this can stop it now.